Hello, this is a very short screencast to show how you can use OMS, the Output Management System Utility in SPSS, to capture data from more complex analyses. I've made a previous screencast about capturing data from a t-test. Here is from a logistic regression procedure in SPSS. We just look at the Analyze menu. You see under Regression, there is something called Binary Logistic Regression. This procedure, multinomial logistic regression, which I prefer, and that's the one we're going to use today for a very simple data set. So I've created a data set with a hundred simulated data sets, each with a couple of hundred subjects split into two groups and a predictor variable, an IV, which we're going to see if it predicts group membership, the DV group variable. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it separately for each of the 100 studies, which all have the same statistical properties. I simulated them using methods very similar to those that appear in a previous screencast that I've made about simulating data using SPSS. So I've set up this data set, and I then have an SPSS syntax file which runs multinomial logistic regression. And we note SPSS often gives short uh, names to the, the procedures and this is called nomreg or nominal regression but it really covers multinomial logistic regression this can be quite confusing a uh, feature of SPSS the difference between the described name of the procedure and their shorthand so we've also uh, got an output window where the output from our analyses are going to display from our multinomial logistic regression but we want to capture them using the OMS utility to create a data file so we can analyze the collective properties of these large number of analyses, in this case, just 100. OK, so how do we do it? First of all, we're going to set up the OMS utility. It's here in the utilities window using the control panel. Bring this up into view. It looks like this. You've seen another me do this in a previous video. And then we have to set it up and then we're going to add it when this becomes available. We're going to add it up to this window and then log all activity of that kind. We generally want to save stuff from tables and the analysis. We might struggle to find a multinomial logistic regression because it's named by this, the procedure name, which is called nomreg or nominal regression. So that's another name for it. So when we know the procedure, we can find this better. OK. Now we want to create a data set, new data set, and I'm just going to make it an SPSS data file. We're going to call it log reg outputs.sav. That will be fine. Okay. And what do we want to save? We want to save one of the options from the output window. We want to look at the odds ratios and the p values. So let's find parameter estimates, the table where this information appears in the standard output. We could save other things. I'm just going to save that here. And now this is now addable. So I'm going to add that into the logging window. And then I'm going to start logging. Uh, get a window then comes up. Bear with me. Here it is. And it's just continue that could log the uh, activity but I'm just going to continue don't need to that's good and now when I do this get a message saying I've requested uh, an OMS and I'm now going to request it so now it will capture any analysis of that kind that I do subsequently until I stop and produce the output file I required so now we remember, first of all, we must uh, split the file, organizing the outputs by the study number. Move that over already. OK. So now we've turned on the sort cases. And now we can do our analysis. So then we go to our syntax window. And we highlight the bit we want. It's the only bit. And I'm just going to run the selection using the normal method. And it will run that analysis. And we see it's starting to give us outputs. And it's now finished. We can see that down here. It's already 
I have a reasonably fast computer, uh, utilities, OMS control panel, and then we need to end that activity. OK, and it will now, it's requesting um, the output file be produced. And it will also produce a data file. Here it is, untitled 4 is the name of the data file. Move that into view. And we see here, table number. I've got two lines, a one and one, two and two. The first line contains uh, information about the parameter estimates. I have value for the IV, the uh, log odds ratio and its standard error, the wall test statistic, the probability associated with that test, and the odds ratio and its upper and lower bounds. So now I've got a data set where I could look at, for example, a histogram of the odds ratios. Let's do a, a chart. The odds ratios using the legacy dialogues histogram. And we look at the odds ratio. I'm going to put that over there for the predictor variable. I'm just going to look at it. Here's the kind of analysis we can we can get. Scroll down, and you see. The odds ratios are centered around 0.75, um, but spreading most of them are below uh, 1, which would, nearly all of them are below 1, which would indicate no effect of that predictor. And then if we look at a particular individual output here, so for this particular output, this is the hundredth uh, simulated data set, the odds ratio is 0.837. Let's call it 84%. That means that for every unit increase in the IV, the odds of being in category one relative to the reference category, category two, that's DV group one relative to the reference DV group two, is 80% lower. So it gets lower as you increase the IV. Higher IV scores reduce the probability of being in category one. And we've seen that collectively for the whole set of simulations around. 75%. Um, we could similarly look at the average probability value if we wanted. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for listening. Um, please like the video if you did like it. And you can always subscribe to my channel. That allows you to get notifications for any future screencasts when they're published. You do that by hitting the bell icon once you've subscribed. Bye.